All right, you guys, as you guys can see, this uh, Nissan Versa uh, 2009 has pulled a P0420 code, and that's saying the catalyst system efficiency clearance is below threshold, and that's in bank one, so I guess that's in the sensor one. Um, you know, as you guys know, that the catalytic converters are very expensive. Um, I called my local uh, Nissan dealership. They want $900 for it. $900 just for the catalytic, in catalytic converter. Plus, for the two sensors that are on there, they want uh, $319 for the front sensor and $309 for the second sensor. That's just ridiculous. That's, what is that? That's $1,600, and I haven't even started with labor yet. So, what I'm going to try to do is, I was looking at a few things on uh, YouTube, and um, a couple of things came up. I was just researching some stuff. First thing, uh, what I'm going to try to do is, I'm going to fill the tank up with some uh, high-octane gas, which in Arizona, ours is the highest, is 91. I was reading that in other some other states, uh, uh, they were having 93. Uh, that's the highest... Uh, efficiency the top grade gas is 93 in other states but in Arizona the best thing I could find for Shell and Chevron is 91 and those are supposed to be the top brands of gas has the cleaner and all that other stuff added to it or whatever but uh, so I'm gonna fill the car with the uh, the 91 what's in Arizona if I could find 93 I'm gonna look around but I, I looked around I didn't see very uh, no 93 so I'm gonna look a little more and see but um, then I'm gonna use some of this STP fuel injection cleaner because they say that it could be the uh, fuel injectors um, leaking bad whatever and then I'm gonna also add some of this uh, gas treatment STP gas treatment so I'm going to do the fuel injection plus this, plus the high octane gas, and uh, try to clear this code here. Um, I was watching uh, Scotty Kilmer, and uh, he was actually suggesting to put some uh, lacquer, the thinner, some lacquer thinner in your car. But I was, I saw a couple of things that people were doing that. Some people said that did worked fine for them and some people said it didn't work so um, I don't really want to put lacquer in my run it through my engine that stuff's pretty strong man I know octane's pretty strong too and jet fuel and all that stuff and uh, Everclear people are saying Everclear and all that other stuff but I don't know that seems like it would dry out like the dry everything out but I guess with the um, catalytic converter that just helps because you want your catalytic, catalytic converter um, very hot anyway so it has to burn off when you get a brand new one it has to burn a bunch of stuff off of it anyway but uh, all the deposits actually go through your catalytic converter and that's what builds up and it pretty much just burns it out because it's got pl uh, palladium in it which is a very expensive uh, metal so as you know palladium is very expensive uh, more expensive than gold actually but anyway so but these catalytic converters are um, the aftermarket I was looking around is around uh, you can find between three and five hundred dollars um, the thing is, is I don't want to put this catalytic converter on because I've been underneath the car actually I'll go back underneath there and show you it looks like a goddamn nightmare um, I know a lot of people say it's easy and this and that a couple of bolts here and there but uh, underneath this Versa it looks like a nightmare so I probably am going to buy if this doesn't work with the uh, trying it with the fuel and all that other stuff, I'm probably just going to go ahead and buy a catalytic converter and just have someone put it on for me. But I don't want to. Uh... There's actually another option, which the option is what I don't want to do, um, is actually take the catalytic converter off and wash it in um, Dawn uh, dishwashing soap. Some people get a good. Um, result out of that but the thing is is that you're actually just see I need to actually pass the emissions test so if I can get through just passing the emissions test with this cleaning it with the uh, uh, STP gas treatment and STP uh, fuel injection cleaner and doing a uh, you know a uh, 
uh, clean with the high octane gas then I'm gonna go ahead and do it and then just pass it and then put a, a, a new uh, catalytic converter on but once they're bad they're pretty much bad but what they're saying is that you can take it off clean it with dish soap with some Dawn dish soap because it's like a screen type thing in there and they get all filled up with this ash and stuff from it just burning off and all the metallics get all built up in there so um, and if it's going bad there's something wrong anyway they're saying that it might be your engine might be running too rich and um, a few other things so you want to get those problems taken care of also but what I want to do is I want to just go ahead I don't want to take the catalytic converter off and try that last solution last solution like Scotty was saying Scotty Kilmer was saying you know sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't with the uh, lacquer thinner but you know you can always take it off and try try that too so you guys just research check out uh, Scotty and then there's this uh, Scotty Kilmer check him out and uh, there's this other solution too it's called uh, Cataclean um, I watched a couple of videos on that and I actually uh, read up on that that's that's hit and go too I mean I think once the catalytic converters are pretty much toast, they're pretty much toast. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to buy a new one eventually. So I'm gonna try to get through this. I don't. It's what are we in right now? Uh, it's the 29th or the 30th of April. We're going into May. So June, July is when I have to get this done. So I'm trying to get ahead of the problem right now because this just kicked back on. All right. So here's uh, the uh, service engine soon. And then here's the 122,025 miles. Um, I mean, the catalytic converter is, I don't know. I didn't think expect for that to be going out at this time. I mean, 122,000 miles, that isn't very much for a uh, Nissan Versa, for a foreign car. I could see, I'm not trying to bag on American cars, but I could see that going out on a, a Chevy or something. Um but yeah so there it is so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, just try to use the cleaners and see if that works for me I'm gonna go ahead and clear this now alright you guys so here is the uh, God, you're gonna get some serious echo here's the catalytic converter um, this is just the, the, the back end going to the muffler I don't know if you can kinda see that this is really tight underneath here um, then here, let me see if I can show you the, the front part of it. It goes up into the manifold, I believe. This is why I was saying I really didn't want to do this job. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is I'm just going to have a muffler shop put this on for me. I'll buy it, uh, genuine part. There's the sensor wire right there. If you can see that, here's the sensor wire, sensor. Then here's where it disconnects from, and then it goes up into it in here. All right, you guys, so I want to show you that I did get this to pass. And let me focus a little bit on this. You can see that everything's okay on here. Let me scroll through here. You can see the misfire's okay, fuel system's okay. Uh, uh, Cadillac monitor, it's INC. The Catalyster is NA, NA, EVAP, NA, AIR, NA, and everything's in NA, NA, okay. So there it is. It ended up passing. There's no check engine light on. Watch when I start it. I'm going to start it now. Uh, the tire light's going to stay on. Okay, so we started it up, and check engine light is off. And I'm going to show you just so you can see this. State of Arizona, pass, pass, pass. Um, let me focus this. Whoops. Okay, so yeah. Let me focus this. Sorry. So there's pass, pass, pass. Um, let me cover these up down here. You can see the date and times. The date right there is. Yeah. I'm trying to keep private information cost 20 bucks it is ready and we did pass okay so let me tell you what I did what I ended up doing was I went ahead and I bought some 
you know, I put the uh, STP stuff in it, okay, and then I got some of this, this Cataclean, all right. What I did is, what I think what really happened is that um, my wife, she drives the car kind of slow. I think it just built up a bunch of carbon in there. All I did was went, jumped on the freeway, and I just got on the, the car. I mean, I, I just punched it all around. Let's see, I went 60... Focus this thing, you guys. Sorry, uh, 63 miles. You can see the miles have changed from the last time. Whatever the mileage was before, um, this is just you know the other part of the video. So the end of the video. But I did 63. I actually did more than 63 miles because she had a full tank of gas. She had filled up. I had put um, the 91 octane in there. All we have is 91 here, so I filled up with 91 and uh, dumped the STP uh, gas cleaner and the fuel injection cleaner in there and I just drove it around until I got down to a quarter tank and then I put the Cata cleaner in there alright so I only used one bottle they say you can use you should try two but at the all at the same time when I was driving around I was taking I was reading my monitor I would just uh, uh, exit out and uh, reset it and while I was driving and, and checking and it all came up like this so I just took off and I went right over to the um, emissions place so we ended up passing all close to my house and just uh, just hammered the gas man I was doing hundred and ten at, at times I know that sounds like I shouldn't be I shouldn't be doing that flying down the freeway like that but you know what those catalytic converters are meant to get hot as hell and you need to blow out your engine every once in a while. With her just driving around, putting around, she gets on the freeway to go to work and stuff, but she just puts around in it. So I think it just built up a bunch of the carbons in there and it was just throwing that. I did this at a quarter tank, below a quarter tank, stuck this in there and just was just going up and down the freeway, hauling balls basically. Um, then I would let off the gas, get it down to about 60 and just gun it again. And I took the, um, Overdrive off, overdrive off. So it was a uh, revving at high RPM. So I kept it pretty much like at 5,000, between 5,000 and 6,000 RPMs, just doing about 80 uh, majority of the time. Got it up to 100, a little over 100, and back down to 80. And then uh, kind of did like a drive cycle, went from 55, kept it about 55 for uh, probably about two or three minutes, and then just gunned it again. And then it went up kind of a hill off an uh, off ramp and just let the car coast all the way down. So it went through the whole drive cycle. Thanks for watching. Um, subscribe. Like my videos. Oh.